Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick with Indieogle. And in this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to make a spike that sits on the ceiling and when the player walks under it, then it'll fall. Uh, the first thing we want to do is create a sprite for it. Uh, this isn't perfect, but it doesn't have to be, it's just a tutorial. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do after we get the sprite is down here at origin. Right now it's set to 0x0, zero zero, which is the very top left corner. We want to center this. You could type in the center of it, which would be 16 and 16, but you can always just hit center and it'll do it automatically. Now, let's create the object. and create a new room for these. The other one is definitely getting too cluttered. Okay, now, this box. Okay, now time to program. Open up the, sp uh, the spot and go into the draw event. Now, any time that you put anything in the co uh, draw event, you might already know that it just completely does away with the sprite that you've assigned to the object. So what we're going to want to do is type this command. And we've got our sprite back. Now, we'll type this in. And what that's going to do is it's going to check the X position of object ball, which is the player. And if it's equal to the Spock's X position, then the gravity, uh, excuse me, the gravity is set to 0 0.5. Okay, now in the step event, set the gravity direction to 270. Okay, move this room up and test. As you can see, one spike has already fallen. No matter whether there's a block in between you and the spike or not, it's going to fall. Reason why is because we have not actually added in any code to check if there's anything in between you and the spike. So, if you're going to make levels that will never have anything in between you and the spot then this code will be fine because it's simple but if you will possibly have something be in between you and the spot then you need to add in something else now you've probably never worked with collision lines but what a collision line is it's an invisible line that is drawn from the object you or really anywhere to somewhere else and it checks if it's collisioning with a certain object. If it is, then it can either execute code or keep code from being executed. You know, pretty much anything. Uh, this Spock will actually be a very good example of showing how they work. So the first thing we... now what we want to do is create the collision line.
Okay. So, these first two arguments is going to be used as the uh, starting point of the line. And the second two right here will be used for the ending point of the line. And this is the object that it's checking for. This false is uh, precise. We'll just leave that false for this tutorial. And this is not me. Now, if we would have left this false, then the collision line could have possibly been triggered and went on ahead and executed this line of code just because uh, the collision line was collisioning with the actual spot and not the ground. And we have an exclamation mark here. You want to make sure to do that. So let's try it out now. By the way, if you don't really know what the exclamation mark is for, then go back into some previous tutorials where I've explained it. But as you can see now, these spikes are not falling unless if there's something, you know, they don't fall unless they don't fall if there's something blocking them. Okay. Now we need to go into the possibility that maybe there won't just be ground objects blocking the view of the spot. Maybe there's going to be more objects. In that case, we'll want to create a new object, name it something like obj underscore line blocker, and use the ground as the sprite. And go into the spot here and change this object ground to object line blocker. Okay. Now, for anything that could possibly be in between you and the spot, you're going to want to open it up. In our case, it's only going to be the ground though. So go down here to parent and set the parent to line blocker. Now, anything, even though it's actually checking for the line blocker since this object grounds parent is line blocker then it'll still execute the exact same way and I'll test it out just to prove it it's not falling so until there's nothing blocking it So that ends this tutorial. Um, one last tip is this is not necessary, but usually when you're dealing with collision lines, since collision line is actually invisible, it might be a good idea to add draw line and just take these arguments and use that. And now when you test it out, you can see exactly what the collision line looks like. You're not actually seeing the collision line, but that's what it does look like. So It's very good to do that to when you're testing things out because it can be kinda hard to know exactly where the line is looking at if everything's functioning properly unless you add in draw line here but we'll leave that out and the only other thing to do is collision with uh, well lawn blocker instance destroy okay and now let's save our game and that ends this tutorial I uh, hope you've learned something new and see you in the next one